cheerleaders doing their stuff, lots of balancing. And the crowd enjoying it, but uh, it means that we are delayed for just a while. Just waiting patiently, although they are warmed up already, of course, these players. They've been outside really, really staying very, very active. And, uh, well, a hush comes around the Britama Arena. And the cheerleaders still doing their stuff. We'll be with you very shortly. And of course, uh, E. Yi and Wei Kiat were very, very proud of their victory in the junior championships, but there is a, a big, big issue when you uh, look at the way that the Malaysians traditionally, they've won the junior world championships in the doubles on several occasions, but uh, they've yet to really follow through with any uh, determination from the juniors into the senior level. But maybe, maybe we will see a change here with the uh, these youngsters, E. Yi and Wei Kya. good crowd here inside this Britama arena as the Malaysians are being introduced to the crowd there they are they've had the experience of a lot of uh, an investment of a lot of time from coaches the the Malaysian pair and Saputra Probably a little bit taller than his partner. Pratama on the left of the camera there, on the left of the net with the vivid orange shoes. And the toss being made, our umpire for this one, Mr. Jose Jadan from the Philippines. He's assisted by uh, Cholid from Thailand, truly international support and of course the BAC the Badminton Asian Confederation have put a lot of time and effort into this as well they uh, give it their full endorsement and support and uh, a great event born over the last couple of weeks the Axiata Cup conceived by the group from TSA Total Sports Asia Marcus Lo and his team and then uh, taken to Axiata and who put great faith and a lot of money behind this one a million US dollars prize money alone and the birth of the uh, Axiata Cup in the ASEAN men's team championship taken about nine months to come about so a real birth isn't it really the, the innovations of the virtual signboards at the back and on the middle of the court of course in a great atmosphere and a, when they do eventually get to the final stages they are playing for a 400,000 US dollar winning check so lots of motivation to play well 22 and 21 well Pratama together with Saputro they have played in the previous matches of course in the preliminaries they were up in Kuala Lumpur for their preliminaries Chandra and Gunawan played in the first doubles we also had Pratama and Saputro playing against uh, Bo and Estalisao of Philippines and Prama, Pratama Saputra played against 
Ku Kien Kiat and Tam Boon Hyong, and that was the big, big surprise, I have to say. They lost the first 21-10, and then Pratama and Saputra came through so strongly to take the thir second and third, 18 and 13, and that was why they are now in with a huge opportunity to get into the finals. They have already done that, so a major, major interest match, this one. Good defending, but a lot of aggression there. And eventually it was Nelson Haig that gets it to ground. 1-0, Malaysia. Yeah, that's great again. He comes in with a really, really super, super forehand smash. Wei Kiat is looking in very, very good form. Tio will serve it again. 2-0. It's in, it's 3-0. This is the kind of form we expect. Okay, good net play from uh, Saputro. That's out of court. Oh, it's a long way out. It's a great rally, it's a brilliant drop shot from Saputra, but you have to say that was a huge error on the play from uh, Yi, I think it was, who kept it in. It was a long way out of court early in that rally. In fact, I think it was the third shot, but he played the rally on and then it got up to about 15 to 18 shots, three all, and now 4-3. Pratama just playing a little bit with that one. Leaves it for 5-3. It was 3-0, so that's five in a row, Indonesia. Six in a row, Indonesia. Wow. What a change around. Lazy. Pratama's the kind of character that you can tell likes to play it very cool. On that occasion, he was frozen out. And another one, not good backhands, those. He was certainly more rushed in that. But that was two poor backhands allowing Malaysia back in. Well, it's certainly a seesaw battle. Three on the row, six on the row, and now three on the row. It's gone. It's 8 6, and that really is a huge error at the net from Nelson Hegg. Yeah, great play. Two great drop shots from the center from E. Yi. And then he comes up with a power play. From inside to outside, lovely. Seven, eight.
That this time is judged well. Eight all. The Britama Arena still humming and buzzing, lots of drums and hooters. It's a good atmosphere. Nine eight. It's being played at a fairly fast pace. That's in. A fairly fast pace, lots of frenetic activity. Not, a, not many rallies, of course. You wouldn't expect it. Very flat, flat play. This time, the dummy backhand doesn't work. I have to say, it's very clever. Ten all. They go to the break at 11.10. Indonesia have the lead through Saputra and Pratama. It's a very, very even contest at the moment. But Iyi and Waikat have shown really, really impressive. Well, they started well enough. They took a 3-0 lead. But then just sat back a little bit on their haunches. I think they'll be getting a little bit of a talking to here from Pang Chen Chang, their coach. On the other side, it's Sigit Pamungas. There's uh, Pang. Over the uh, the recent years, of course, Tan Kim Her has had a lot to do with their development of the Mal Malaysian pair. Rosman Razak as well on the technique side, and they even brought in the South Korean player Yu Yong Sung to improve their speed and agility. So. A lot of effort from Bam gone into this doubles pair. Let's see whether or not they can reward. It's 11-10 to Indonesia. A snatch again from uh, Nelson Hegg. 12-10. Yeah, too easy for Pratama to kill that one. 13-11. Ooh, that was a huge error. It was long. I tell you what, Tio Yi can't believe he made that error. He was onto it like a flash, but it was too strong. A little bit of uh, a frame from Suputra but it all counts it's 15-11 down the middle and it's 16-11 and Indonesia since the break are in control good lead from Tio this time he had his feet planted didn't move away to try and get a a forehand or backhand to it yeah absolutely stuck to the floor and that's out from Tio and they are falling apart here E Yi and Wei Kiat are finding it really tough against the onslaught it's 18 12 in the first that's better Get in early, attack from the serve, receive. Into the body for 14-18, this is much better. I love the translation of uh, Rian Agungsa Putro's name. Rian and then it's either great or supreme. 
that uh, that's a great name, isn't it? Supreme or great in your name. Well, he's certainly showing some talent, that's for sure. Saputra, he is receiving. It's gone. This is a good battle fight back here from Tio and Heg. 16-18. Tio with the serve. Oh, dear. Nineteen sixteen. Yeah, Pratama looks round and says, Ouch, I didn't mean that. Good reading from Malaysia at seventeen nineteen. Big point here in this first game of the doubles, the Axiata Cup, and that's another lovely service. The Porto Net said is 18-19. Nelson Hegg with the serve. Some great net play. Oh, it's short. Oh dear. But there was some excellent net play both sides of the court 2018 game point Saputra uh, Saputro and Pratama Pratama serve it goes over it's 1920 Ooh, a good big stroke of luck there for Malaysia. Can they take advantage? It's the next one coming in there. That's it. And it is Nelson Hegg that takes the tape and puts the shuttle over at 1920. They lost to Chandra and Gunawan in the second, 22-20. They lost the first 21-12, that was yesterday. Here, they've got a fighting chance with the service. It's Tio Iyi. 19-20. No, that's it, 21-19. Saputo and Pratama have taken this first game in the doubles of the Axiata Cup. And the 21-year-old Saputo from Indonesia makes First, first blood, first game, and the world ranks 17 in the world. Saputra and Pratama survive a little bit of a scare at the end, but a very entertaining battle, lots to uh, get excited about, and certainly a very, very impressive performance, both sides of the net. Indonesian Rajawali won, Malaysia Leopards zero. Well, there's no doubt that E. Yi and Wei Kiat will be learning a huge amount about pressure play. Not only are they in the spotlight in Jakarta, where things are very, very tough playing badminton, they are on the TV, and all their friends and relatives and all the public and the criticisms, all the plaudits that come through are obviously so so vital to picking up more and more experience and developing your attitude in your game this is a uh, axiata cup giving these two particularly a really really good opportunity and a big outing it's short it's one two
That is wide. Good cause. The line judges, I have to say, have been perfect. 3-1. A good stab receiving there from Saputra. Saputro, I have to get that right. Saputro. Yeah, Saputro plays a lovely backhand into the big gap. Coming towards the camera here, it's lovely play. And that's out, so it's now 4-3 to Rajawali, Indonesia. There's certainly some very delicate net play, both sides. Very nice touches. One of the toughest parts of the doubles game is the serve. Getting it through your opponent's very, very live defense. Looking promising here, although they took a 3-0 lead, didn't they, before they were pegged back to 9-6 against them. A little bit of daylight here in this second game for Malaysia. 7-4. And now at 8-4. And really give away points like that from Pratama. He'll be uh, very annoyed with himself. That's short from Batama again. The former world juniors. Won the crown last year, of course. And they are now beginning to find a way. Was that in? I think it was. Came off the net, but it was in. It's 6-9. Well, that's a shame because Saputra's defense was unbelievably quick. Ten six. Yeah, I think the weak link here at the moment is probably Anga Pratama, to be quite honest. The Putro's played a really, really quality, good quality game. But at the moment, Pratama's loose play is letting his team down. Iyi Kyat in the lead, 11-6 at the interval. And Pang, che, Pang Chen Chang is really... Uh, Having a, a good, good uh, interval this time. And the cheerleaders, but they're also gymnasts, you know. They showed some fantastic balance work earlier. Very impressive. They keep the atmosphere building. Here we are. It's 11-6, second half of the uh, second game. The Indonesians took the first by 21-19. This time Pratama Ja makes a really good contact down the middle for the point. Well, 
all these players of course play front and back they they've got to play net and they've got to be jump smashers as well uh, all four take responsibility everywhere around the court well Malaysia defended well there both Tio and Heg Heg's backhand was particularly effective Tio's improvisation was very good too so 13 points to seven in this second game it will be Heg to serve ah the great thing about the Axiata Cup too it brings a lot of smiles to a lot of faces and a great festival atmosphere Who tried to change direction of Pratama's having a, I must say, a pretty indifferent game here. 14 7. He's probably created more than uh, three quarters of the errors from his side. Oh, great work. Brilliant rally. That's out of play, unfortunately, from Haig. But I tell you, that was a fantastic rally. There were lots of good saves in it. Some brilliant entertainment. Super shots. The drumming continues, the horns are there, the shouting of the, uh, the cheerleaders. It's, uh, it's a very exciting place to be. Chio misses a backhand, it's 9-14. It would be good if Malaysia could force a third game just like they had in the men's singles opener that's gone 11 14 and suddenly the picture looks rosier for indonesia oh <laughs> so close to being outrageous it went wide it's 15 11. we did have a wonderful Southeast Asian Games in Indonesia jointly hosted by Jakarta and, and Palembang I spent my time in Palembang and the badminton of course was here in Jakarta at the Astora Sanayan so there were some interesting performances all around Indonesia claiming the lion's share of course Touch there, 16 at 12. Well, There's a little bit of a delay because I think Haig wanted to have a mop down. Is even now he's pointing to a spot. And I think we are going to get one. Yep. It is very dangerous, particularly at the net, because you do rush around and you stretch. And if you do slip just a few centimeters extra beyond what you want to, those involuntary stretches are really dangerous. You can be out of the game for months. 
So I can understand why they're very precious about that, uh, the mop down and the sweating. Good touch from Pratama. Still nervous times here for the Malaysians. They really do need to push hard to see this one through. Great net. Well left. That's out as well, so 15-16. And suddenly the Indonesians who were out of it at half time at the interval have come so far back into it, putting pressure now on Tio to receive. Oh dear. Wow, that was a big relief. Saputra doesn't make those mistakes very often. Uh, he makes the tape again, but this time it goes over. 16-17. There's a little bit of nerve creeping in here at the uh, final part of this game. Lots of errors. That's just wide. 17-18. Yeah, Pang Chen Chang will be really uh, annoyed with the situation at the moment. They'd already won this game, hadn't they? The Malaysians. That's long. 1917. Full of errors this game. <laughs> Love the reaction. Great reaction shots, ANTV. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Ooh, a stretch too far for Nelson Haig. It's still very, very tight, very difficult. Getting across the winning line here. They're in the final few meters. And Indonesia coming up on the inside a little bit stronger. 18-19. Oh, it would have been out. Uh, it doesn't matter. As it happens, it doesn't matter. Oh, Saputra was very lucky there. But that means that it's 19 all and two points for victory for Indonesia Rajawali. Pratama will serve it. Great respect. Oh, absolutely brilliant. Yeah, great work, Malaysia. Heng and Tio combining really, really well. Now, that shows a determination, doesn't it? We love to see people digging deep. They all, they thought that they had this game sewn up with such a big lead. Then they've just been pegged back. Now, it's a towel down time. 2019, a game point to Malaysia Leopards. It's not an official break, so uh, Mr. Pang stays is where he is the Indonesian bench looking around a little bit of a stretch from Rumbaka twenty nineteen game point Malaysia head will serve Twenty points all, it's juice. 
Familiar territory here for Tio and Haig. They went to Deuce in the second game yesterday against Chandra and Gunawan. They're in Deuce again here. But it is Rianagung Saputro serve. And now they've got match point. Saputro and Pradama have match point against Tio and Hega Malaysia. I can't believe that they let this whole thing slip. They were in control of this game. And you might say it's a growing up opportunity. Wow. It's a tough call, isn't it? Broken racket. Broken heart, maybe, soon. 21-20 match point. Bang. 21 all. I've learned a new word whilst I've been here. It's sakti, magic. It wasn't exactly magic, but it was, it was a very important point to come back from uh, match point down. Now, this is pressure time for E. Yi, who will serve it. All the hours that they spent training. Oh, what an error. Good return of serve from Saputro. 22-21. Iskander is warming up in front of me. Iskander Zulkanmain. Another match point, Indonesia. That's it, 23-21. The hands are raised in victory for Indonesia. And Indonesia, Roger Wally, have taken the second match by two games to zero. And you have to say, Tio E. Yi and Nelson Hegwe Kiat had a real opportunity to make a name for themselves here in Jakarta by taking the second game. They, I think they had a 14 or 13-7 lead at one stage, and they let it drop. Wow. There'll be huge disappointments in Malaysia. I'm sorry about that. I haven't any good news to bring you, but uh, the former world junior champions certainly will learn a lot from coming up against ta real talent. Saputra and Pratama take it by a really, really good margin. 2-0, but 23-21 in the second. So the match already lost, we knew that. The place in the finals already confirmed from Indonesia, Rajawali. But here's a young lad about to come out for Malaysia that I really believe has enormous potential. He has shown over the years since juniors, he's only 21 now, but since juniors he has always been there or thereabouts he is a, ve a very emotional kind of character and he really does love the challenge and the spotlight so we will see whether or not Iskander Zulkaman can upset a very very inform Rumbaka Right, well, we are going to see the cheerleaders. I was afraid that we weren't. So I'll just be quiet for a while and we'll enjoy this balancing performance. <laughs> 